if you are watching this video and if you have been following the events that have been going on this past weekend then you know about the Arizona congresswoman who was shot and the six people who died in Tucson on Saturday now I believe there is a bigger problem going on in America right now and it has nothing to do with the idea of poli polit political rhetoric that is being floated around in the media. No, I'm talking about the finger pointing that is going on in the media right now. And this, from this AP article, quote, the sheriff, Pima County's Clarence Dupnick, blamed the vitriolic political rhetoric that has consumed the country, much of it centered in Arizona. When you look at unbalanced people, how they respond to the vitriol that comes out of certain mouths about tearing down the government, the anger, the hatred, the bigotry that goes on in this country is getting to be outrageous. And unfortunately, Arizona has become the capital. We have become the mecca for prejudice and bigotry. This article on the right flat out suggests that political rhetoric is to blame. Quote, even before the name of the shooter was known, a fierce debate spilled out across blogs and social media, with liberal commenters blaming the attack on the violent imagery evoked by some Tea Party candidates and conservatives during the recent midterm elections. Folks, this is why we cannot hold anyone accountable here in America. There is always an excuse for the terrible things that happen here. I I could go out and rob a bank tomorrow, but don't blame me or my greed, just blame the economy. I could go try to rape a girl or molest a kid, but don't blame me or the emotional problems that I have that I refuse to seek help for, no. Just blame the fact that I had a bad childhood. I could have been the one that went on this mass killing rampage in Arizona, but don't blame me or the mental problems that I did not seek help for. No, just blame it on the political rhetoric of this country. Blame politics, blame the Tea Party, blame Sarah Palin, whatever. It, there are a million different excuses for what this guy did. A million different explanations and none of it will actually explain why this guy did it. What about the six people who died? What about the nine-year-old? The nine-year-old child? The congresswoman's aide? The US judge? The three seventy-year-olds who died? I mean, did they deserve what happened to them? Did Were they part of this toxic political environment? that caused the shooting. Come on, come on people, think about that. But we're not going to think about that because the national media is going to take this idea of political rhetoric and run with it. And they're going to run it into the ground. They're going to create all this great ratings and buzz and hype that isn't really going to solve anything. In fact, it might create more problems. I mean, we, we cannot go back and change what happened, but we can take steps to make sure that tragedies, tragedies like this don't happen again. And that includes making sure those responsible are punished to the full extent of the law. But that might not happen because we've already established an excuse for what this guy did. We've already established an excuse that might assure that justice may not be properly served. The same excuse that might lead to even more shootings and more excuses and more blame on the political kosher for what for what is going on. I mean, no one forced the guy to do this. No one put a gun to his head and told him to do this. This was something he chose to do. We should stop feeling guilt-ridden. We should stop feeling sorry for ourselves. We should start enforcing the law better. 
we should protect our public officials better, no matter how much we, we hate them, and we should start holding people accountable for their own actions. Okay? Stop stop making excuses for these tragedies. Stop making victims out of criminals. Thanks for watching. I'm out.